Hey guys, so today we're going to be testing out the difference between hairspray and fixative spray. This is to set your drawings with. A lot of the time people do use fixative sprays but they can be very expensive whereas compared to hairspray which is a lot cheaper anyways. So we're going to be seeing what the difference is between them. I got this fixative spray about a month or two ago. I've still not used it yet so this is the perfect chance to use it. I have used hairspray before to set my drawings before I had my fixative spray. This was like almost £10. You can still see the prices on there. Almost £10 whereas this is like, this hairspray is like three or four pounds so quite a significant difference in price. I want to just see like what the actual difference is in quality and I've seen before that it actually works pretty well in the other stuff with drawings that I've used for it before and I'm just going to be using them in drawings like these. Obviously not this one because it's not finished. Okay I have both of my drawings here. I'm going to use the hairspray on this one and the fixative spray on this one. I have my hairspray here. It's like kind of running out so I don't know if it'll be able to do a lot and if it'll just go a bit kind of frizzy I'm gonna just kind of okay it's not bad so I'm just gonna do it from a bit of a distance so that I'm not like it won't completely soak through so I'm just gonna completely get it I think I got all of it there okay so I'm gonna do the fixative spray on this one now my dog has decided to join me outside <laughs> it actually smells really nice from the hairspray I can't imagine this stuff smelling too nice I'm gonna do the fixative spray on this eye drawing I know it's a lot larger but I'm just doing two different sketchbooks so you guys can see like side to side okay I'm gonna just spray this again from quite far away Okay, I definitely notice a difference with the spray itself. It definitely comes out a lot fuller. Oh my god, yeah. It smells very strong of chemicals. <laughs> but yeah, I think I got all of it. Um, I don't see any traces of like um, color from both sprays. Um, so I'm gonna let these dry for like two minutes and then come back. I'm gonna do this one as well. This is probably my most recent drawing. Um, I really like how it turned out. Coca-Cola can. Breakdown. and I'll wait for these to dry now. So I tried both products out. I tried the hairspray and I tried the fixative spray and my honest opinion is that for real I don't see a difference between the both of them apart from the price. Like if you just do sketchbook drawings and stuff and you're not like selling them or anything then hairspray definitely is completely fine to use. It doesn't stain leave any marks it dries very quickly it does the exact same thing as fixative spray and it will save you probably quite a lot of money in the long term maybe if you're doing um like commission drawings you might want to use fixative spray just come across as more professional even at that like still you could still probably use hairspray to be honest i've used hairspray before for drawings um not commissioned work just drawings that I do for fun and stuff so definitely don't think it's necessary to go and buy uh, like a professional product for that because it has the exact same result as the hairspray I'm not gonna lie it really does the face of spray just comes out with a little bit more product and um, the volume with like the mist when you're spraying it you saw that in the video and um, apart from that they're literally exactly the same anyways guys thank you so much for watching and until next time bye